Hey dude, uh, sorry that your neck is feeling so sore. Let's see if we can loosen it up. So the first thing that we're gonna do, you know, obviously I've got the test kitchen here. Um, you're gonna be on couch, food talk, whatever works in your house, um, but a bench should work as a good stand-in for a couch. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we have wide feet and uh, we're gonna do a seated windmill. So I'm gonna come forwards. We're gonna try to get the inside of uh, the leg against the outside of the arm and go ahead and grab the outside of your foot. And then we're gonna try to make like an archer movement up and big reach using the uh, leg as leverage and coming back down. We're gonna go for five of these. So let's go four more. That's three, we've got two more. And last one, try to keep your butt on the bench as much as you can. And big reach, exhale for three, two, one. And let's go ahead and do that same thing on the other side. So anchoring against the leg, grabbing the foot, and going for an archer movement. Let's go for five, so big open, exhale for one and back down, coming for two, and coming back down, deep breath and exhale for three, coming back down, we're going for four, bye Kilo. See you later dude. And last one is five, and hold that and reach, three is for three, two, one, and coming on out of that. We're gonna to continue to use this elevated surface. And we did these yesterday in class. We're gonna go ahead and kneel on our pad, pillow, maybe a carpet. And we've got thumbs up. We're gonna send hips back. And just hold here, exhaling into it, letting everything open. Feel free to adjust your hands. If palm down feels better, that's great. I find that thumbs up tends towards feeling like it uh, hits exactly where you want to hit it. And so now we're going to go ahead and engage one at a time. We're going to go for 10. So pulling that thumb to the ceiling, keeping your chest square to the ground, pulling up for one, coming back down, two, three, four, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on this 10, we're gonna go ahead and exhale, seeing if we can sink down deeper into it. Hopefully things got a little bit engaged and you can use that. Feel free to stay here and breathe as long as you need. I'm gonna reset, get rid of my elevated surface, and then we'll be back for a little bit more specific to neck. So now we're gonna go ahead and get some kneel and reach in. So we've got whatever you've been using for the pad, for the bench. We're gonna get this knee forward. In this, we're not really looking for a hip opener, but it's kind of nice. So we're coming forward. We've got our weight bearing hand on the ground. We're gonna take our non-supporting hand and reach through. And we really wanna to try to expand the space between your shoulder blades here. We're gonna go for five of these. We're gonna exhale and big reach. So that's one of five coming back down. We're gonna reach all the way through. And exhale, big reach, that's two. Let's go for three more, coming to five. Reaching through. And this is three, coming down, four, big exhale, four, and coming back for this fifth one, try to reach down as much as you can and through, and all the way open, exhale, and try to open as much as you can for two, one, and go ahead and switch sides. And we're gonna do that, the literal same thing again, coming forward. Supporting hand, we're reaching through. Let's go for five. Big open exhale, that's one. Coming down for two. And this is three. Big 
exhale, reach. Coming down and big reach for four. And last one, coming down and opening up for five, trying to reach as much as you can for three, exhale, two, and one, and go ahead and come out of that. All right, so now we're actually gonna switch to our foam roller, and uh, I'm gonna trust that you know how to roll out your upper back, but we're just gonna kind of roll that out for a second. Feel free to stop here if you want to, or pause here if you wanna roll it out for a little while, and then we'll get back to it. So, you know, just support bringing your shoulders together, getting the shoulder blades out of the way and rolling out that upper back. And when you're finished with that, we're gonna go ahead and get this foam roller right on the neck. And you're gonna wanna start where it's kind of up against the cranial sacral part of your head, the big skull part that protrudes from the back. <laughs> and now we're just gonna look left and right. And then move it just a little bit down your neck, looking left and right. Really think about breathing out here. That exhale is going to tell your body it's okay to release anything that's feeling totally messed up. And move that foam roller down. You're going to start craning your neck back now. And it's going to touch more of your neck, which should feel really good. I'm a little like Will Ferrell. I don't know what to do with my hands, so they're just kind of here. And finally, we're going to get that kind of towards the bottom of your neck. You're gonna be way up and over. We're just left and right. Again, feel free to do as much of these as feels good and then move on to our next parts. And go ahead and come out of that. I'm hoping that you have some kind of a band or something at home, but since uh, I don't, um, we're gonna go ahead and do wall slides on the wall without a band. So for this, we wanna just focus on the right engagement and creating some tension in our lateral position um, because we don't have that band to pull out against. So I'm gonna come over here to the wall, I've got my foam roller on the wall, and I'm gonna go ahead and just spread shoulder blades apart, create some tension in that upper back area, and then come in, ooh, we're gonna reset and coming up and coming back down. Let's go for five of those. That's two. This is three, four, and five. All right, so it turns out I don't have any bands that are in the test kitchen yet. And I'm not sure if you do, so we're just gonna do it on the wall. Um, so hands on the wall and the most important thing here is that we're not trying to pull in and then pull out. We're just trying to push against the wall and then let your body pull you back in. So we're going to go for five of those. I've got my feet a little bit away so that I don't have to pull out. So push and let your body fall back in. That's one. Push. Coming back in. That's two three. Again, just letting it fall in. This is four. And one more, pushing out. And that's five. We're going to go back to our foam roller and we're going to go for another five of these. Then we're going to go for another five of those scat pushes. Um, we're just kind of trying to loosen everything up in here, move blood through, get some hyaluronic acid getting produced by your muscles. All right, so we've got this guy. Again, we're creating some lateral tension. We're going for five here. So big open, that's one, two, three, four, and coming back for our fifth one. All right, cool. Set that guy down. We're going for another five of these. So hands on the wall at shoulder height. Let's walk our feet back just a little bit so our body weight's falling back in. So. Push and open, let's go for five. This is two, three, four, and five. All right, so hopefully we're feeling a little bit looser already, but we've got a couple more. This one I wanna weight with something really, really small. Your hands kinda of don't weigh enough, but we don't wanna be getting like these big 40s in our hands or anything like that. So 
Um, true to form, I've got sparkle water. Um, you can really use anything that's like sub two pounds or so. All right, so now we're gonna think about pulling hips back. So we're kind of just sitting in this uh, forward position and thumbs are gonna be forward, palms are gonna be forward. And what we wanna do is watch my upper back, just let everything release here. And then big open. And as you're coming down, release again. Big open. So that was two. Let's go ahead and go for 10. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and all right, so I'm hoping you're feeling better by now and hopefully that uh, loosened everything up. I'm gonna go ahead and send a neck round the world video that's a follow with me kind of vibe, the same as we did here. Um, I just already have that recorded, so I'm just gonna go ahead and be lazy and send that over. Um, please go ahead and finish with that. I'm finishing with that because I want everything to feel loose. I don't wanna be like trying to tuck chin and get a lot of openness here if we're feeling really tight because we can cause more pain. And uh, hopefully if you're feeling looser now, that round the world neck stretch will feel good. If at any point, and I trust you, you know that I trust you here, but I'm just gonna always throw this in here. Um, if at any point it doesn't feel good, it feels like, oh, mm, kind of dangerous, just stop and shoot me a text and be like, hey, that didn't feel like, too, that felt like too much, that didn't feel like enough. Wherever you're at, let me know and we'll work together uh, to get you feeling better before you're on that long plane ride. Um, okay, cool, good luck.